Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a button to your shelf and I'm going to teach you guys how to change the icon to make them a little more easily identifiable. What you're going to want to do first is download this folder that I created for you guys that has all of the button designs on it, in it. And then you're going to want to go to your computer and you're going to want to go to this PC, Documents, Maya, whatever version Maya you have, prefs, and then open the icons folder. You may have some icons in here already, or you may have none. That's totally fine. Next, what you're going to want to do is copy all of the designs that I made to help us and simply paste them into this icons folder. You can minimize or close all of that. And the next step is in actual Maya. So open up your file with your rigged characters and go up to show and uncheck polygons. So you can just, so you only have the um, NURB curbs showing. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you're only selecting this one character or the one character. And I went over here to the visibility layers and figured out which one of these turned off the backpack because that was what was interfering with my selection, just to turn visibility off. Uh, next, you're going to want to open up your script editor, which is this little white icon in the bottom right hand corner. Scroll all the way down and click and drag over your character so that it's all selected. I'm going to triple click this last line of code. Again. Oops. Apparently I'm very bad at triple clicking. Uh, save script to shelf. I'm going to call this shy guy all caps number two going to click OK, save as Mel, and there it is. But as you can see, there's a little problem. I can't see the number of what Shy Guy this is. So the next step, you can close your script editor now, and you click this itty bitty little gear right here. And then you go to Shelf Editor, and this little box pops up. And you have Shy Guy number two selected. And then you go to icon name and you click this little browse folder and it will open up to your icons folder where you should now have all of the pictures needed. And let's see here. This is shy guy number two. Just going to click that's in sleeper two. Shy guy two. There we go. This is shy guy two's icon. I'm going to click open and there it is on my little shelf here and it makes it very easy. Each shy guy has its own number and its own color. So when I turn on polygons again and I click this, there you go. He's all selected. I'm gonna turn this guy back on. But that's how you guys can change your icon logo and how to create a button for your shelf. I hope you guys find this helpful and again if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask.